Good evening, I'm Patrick Bratton and welcome to the Anfield Sports Community Centre. It's my sports to first long break and tonight's fixture. As always, for pre-match coverage, I'm joined by Steve Hill, former Vauxhall goalkeeper and current committee member. Steve, thanks for joining us as always. Just before we turn our attention to tonight's uh, match, everyone at Vauxhall Sports was sad to hear about the death of former secretary and committee member Ken Triggs. Bowers of illness. Ken was heavily involved and heavily influential in the club in the late 90s and early noughties, particularly during the club's magical FA Cup run in 2002. I know Steve, you wanted to say a few words about yourself. Yeah, it just, I mean, I got back from when I went off to say on Tuesday and I got back and it was about 11 o'clock I got the So to tonight's game, Steve, Vauxhall kicked off this season with a dominant 2-0 win against Kendall Town and Lower Breck managed to come away from the Isle of Man with three points despite going down to nine men. So who has the edge tonight? Oh, it's a difficult one now. Um, I've James, thanks for joining us. How are you settling to the club so far? Um, settling in really well. Um, been here for a few weeks now. Uh, the last few games in pre-season with the lads, so I've really settled in and feel ready to go, really. Yeah, everyone's been sound. What was it like making your debut against your former team? Um, it was obviously it's, it's a bit of baptism of fire, I think you'd say, but I think we did well. I think the lads were brilliant. I um, felt like I had a decent game myself. still feel like I've got levels to go through, but I think the lads were brilliant and it's a great platform to build on. So it was a clean sheet and a win you can't ask for more. Tell us what goalkeepers prefer. Do you prefer a relatively quiet game or do you like to get your hands on the ball as much as possible? For me, the, the earlier I can get my hands on the ball, the better. Um, it, it helps with staying switched on as a keeper. You can go 40 minutes without touching a ball and that's a real test to stay switched on. So the more I can have the ball, the better. Whether it's a pass, making a save or just coming to collect something as early as I can. For me, I'd always rather have my ball, hands on the ball. 
what are your aims for this season? I think to, to help the club push forward as much as you can. You know, I've signed for a club that used to be a lot higher than it is, and I can see it's working its way up. It's got a really good setup, and for me, I want to try and do as much as I can um, on the pitch to, to push them forward with, with what they want to achieve. So for me, keeping the ball out of the back of the net really, I think, is the main thing. We're at Lower Breck tonight. What's it like as a goalkeeper playing on a pitch like this? On a on a turf pitch, I think nowadays we train on turf so much. It's it's second nature. It's certain things you got to look out for. Every every turf pitch is different. This looks quite dry and um, there's quite a lot of black bits on there, so it's gonna be quite bubbly and it'll hold up. So certain things you got to watch out for. That helps in the warm up. Just look out for those things. But uh, you train on it so much, it's you take it in your stride and you just have to deal with it. Let's just quickly turn our attention to Saturday and the start of the club's FA Cup campaign. You and the rest of the team must be looking forward to that. Uh, of course we are, definitely. I think if you're a footballer at any level and you're playing in the FA Cup, it's, it's something to look forward to if you're not thinking you're in the wrong uh, profession. But uh, it sounds like a cliche, but we've been taking it one game at a time. I think games come so thick and fast in this league that, that, that you can't look too far ahead. I think you know we were fully focused on making a good start on Saturday and I think we did that. Um, now we look to build on that tonight against, from what I know, uh, there'll be a tough side. So that's fully what our focus is on. No one's spoken about the FA Cup just yet, but I think in the next, after tonight, hopefully we get a result in the next few days, we'll definitely be all focused on, on Saturday because it's a massive game for the club. Well, thanks for joining us, James. Good luck for tonight and Thank for the rest of the season. Cheers, man. Sunny Thursday evening here at the Anfield Sports Community Centre. Xbox Ovo has faced their first away fixture of the season at Lower Breck. Teams in as we wait to kick off. For the Vauxhalls, number one, James McClanahan. Two, Ethan Goldborn. Three, Liam Turner. Four, Marcus James. Five, Joe Heath. Six, Sean Muscrop. Seven, Michael Berkey. Eight, Hayden Cooper. Nine, Lewis Buckley. Ten, and captain in the side, Ben Holmes. And eleven, Adam Smith. For the hosts, one, Josh Molloy, two, Daniel Brady, three, Ryan Graham, four, Carl Spellman, five, Jonathan Swatton, six, Joseph Holt, seven, and captain, Michael Monaghan, eight, Thomas Owens, nine, Steve Milne, ten, Thomas McNamara, and eleven, Jared Jebrin. As ever, I'm joined on commentary duties by former Vauxhall keeper and committee member Steve Hilton. Steve, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, no, good. It's going to be a battle this one tonight. Um, probably picked the worst part of the ground to stand on as well with the sun right in our eyes, but um, I'm sure we'll get through it somehow. But no, it'll be a battle today. Um, always a battle against the cool teams. Flying high after the great one away win in the Allen Man on Saturday. But uh, ourselves, we're, you know, we would be having a decent win 2 0. Be looking to capitalise on that and to go into Saturday's FA Cup game uh, with six in the bag. And despite that FA Cup game, there's no sign of Mick McGrath picking and choosing his team. He's gone pretty much as strong as he would have wanted. Yeah, I, I, I asked him before the game, would have made any changes, and he said uh, he wanted to, but he would have liked to have done more. But obviously, the FA Cup is um, it's a big competition for the, for the club uh, financially. Rather, so um, I think if he, if he had his way, he wouldn't be playing tonight. But it is what it is. As Steve said, we are very much in the sun. But we'll try and pick out players as best as we can. It'll be the host to get us underway. Vauxhall kicking from right to left towards us in the first half. Makes a change, a bit of sun being out anyway. We had some cold ones last year, didn't we? Left hand side, beats his man, and runs into the box. And he's forced to put it out for a corner. Strong start from Michael Berkey on the left hand side. He's got a straight out of his feet and straight at him. Corner, right in front of us. It's a, it's a long range effort. He's just outside the box. So he's right in, beats McLennan and he can't reach it to his right. Yeah. He's got, he's got right in the top corner. Look like he's getting a little deflection. No, Plan it's McLennan enough. didn't even die for no, it. No, it's gone right in the top, top corner. 
first league goal conceded this season. Keeper just struggling with the winds there. But he's in. And he gets the shot away. He's convinced it's a corner. You see what Mick was saying on Saturday? He's a big, big lad, right? He'll get physical with centre halves. Put himself about. The corner comes in. Dirty drills it. Drills it, yeah. It's not happy with it though, but he gets it back. Another go. Doesn't he cross it in first time? He whips it up. And he's gone all the way in! Oh, well, the referee hasn't got it. You know what? The cross from Berkey looked like it was going to be snapped by the keeper. He misses it under pressure. Couldn't quite see who it was. And it just sailed in. But, Steve, it didn't look like the keeper was under that much pressure. He looked like he had battled it. You know, I know there's all keepers using and that, but I've got to say, he's threw that one in there. That should be a goal. You might see it differently on the, on the run to get the footage, but when we were standing 20, 30 yards away, it looked like he just didn't fancy it, didn't he? Just, he didn't want us to stay on his feet. He didn't go down. And the, the referee hesitated as well. He didn't give us three tonight. He went with the cars of the uh, lower black players. Good flick on from Holmes. He finds Buckley and he looks to link up. Holmes sets Berkey away. He finds a pass into the box for Holmes. He tries to get a shot away. Oh, just one sit up for him. Yeah. Great little move. He's just waiting for that to just come down to volley. And he's one more. Cross from Holmes. And he gets it. Oh, he oh, finds a box for head. And it's a strong header, it just skips up off the top of the bar. Joe Heath. Yeah. He looks under real pressure, but he managed to get a good header on it. Smith cuts inside, looking for a pass. It's the fullback, Liam Turner, who got forward. It was a bit of a weak shot on his right foot. He took a deflection and then just bounced into the keeper's arms. Space for Dia. It's in the centre of the park. He lets a shot away. Yes! That was nothing. He lets a shot away. Didn't look like the, the strongest effort in the world. No, he bounced right in front of the keeper and he's let it go. I don't know if it's bounced under the keeper or just arms or what. He's just got himself all in a muddle. But um, he set himself up well there, Jordan Dia. Whipped it down, left foot, bottom corner. Uh, like I said, I don't think the, uh, the keepers uh, covered themselves in glory, but the all count at the end of the day, it's 1 1, back in it. Look at that killer ball again. To give some effort. It's a bit of indecision from two centre arse in the end. He's just. Deals with it enough, but it comes out to them on the 15. Yeah, I think he was trying to, uh, he wants to head it back, but uh, yeah, he just dealt with it as he could. The lad did a decent volley. Well, yeah, good, good, good turn from Buffley. He lets his shot away. He yes. scored! Well, he said there's a goal in it, and there's the goal. He's had a relatively quiet second half, but he takes that ball down, switches it to his left foot, and lets it really shot away. And what, 30, 30 seconds after the. Uh, the volley for the other end for Lower Brett, saved by Jim Brookhallan. Ball out. Through the Buckley. Good shot, good finish. 2 1 Vauxhall Monsters. From our, round. From our vantage points. It's difficult to know what the keeper was doing. I think it's one of them. He's, he's come, as he's going across the face of goal, he's like cut it back, hasn't he? So when the keeper was on foot, but I mean, the keeper didn't cover and Kelvin Glory for the first one. So. Ooh. 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 just sails past the top right hand corner on McLaren's goal and the referee blows his whistle no time for the corner it was a bit of hair and scare him at the end but Boxall just hold out Steve it looked like that was going to nestle right in the top corner last kick of the game um, bit of luck there but you know take the three points all day long 
I think that we were getting that look last season, so you know, six out of six. Top of the league. Joint top, top of the league, one goal difference. And um no, great start, great start. And, uh, just need to take this into Saturday now in the FA Cup and that big tie at uh, which is uh, port and get a win there. Um that'd be a fantastic start to the season. Bit of a battling performance in the motors. Bit of a scrappy first half, but in the second half, a lot more sustained pressure, and that's where the comeback came from. Yeah, we, you know, we were never out the game. You know, we had we had chance in the first half, got the equaliser. Um, we said twenty minutes to go, there's another goal in this. Uh, Buckley scored that goal. Five minutes of pressure there from the lower breath, but we defended quite well. Um, one that deflected shot at the end that's just gone narrowly past the top corner, but you know. You're always going to get that pressure away from home. Last couple of minutes of a game and you're, you're winning. So, Mick, Mick McGrath will be delighted for the start with me. So, a great comeback win tonight for the Motors. 1 0 down, they finish this game. 2 1 victors. Goals from Buckley and Dia, who started the comeback off. Make sure the Motors leave with all three points. Low Breck 1, Boxall Motors 2. We'll see you on Saturday for the FA Cup tie away at the Church Alport. Mick, what a comeback from your team tonight. Yeah, it was a tough game, but I thought overall, I thought we were the better side. Um, first half, we were a little bit unlucky to go in 1-0, but um, the tempo we played at, and two fairs of them, they played a good tempo as well, but I thought we, for the second half, we, we dominated, and we just knew once the goal come, we, we'd take over, and I think we fully deserved the win, and you know, fair play to Lower Beck, a good attacking team. It was a different kind of performance than Saturday, it was a really ba real battle tonight, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, we we haven't had much much joy coming here the last couple of seasons, and you know we we look better. We've got a stronger team. We've brought in some better players, which make us better, and we've got a way of playing. And second half, we you know we we use what our strengths, and we scored two really good goals. There was a disallowed goal in the first half. A few questionable decisions. <laughs> there was a few questionable decisions to be fair, but I didn't think it was a foul on the keeper, but. Look, if you touch a keeper now, it's, it is a free kick, isn't it? So, a little bit of a moan about that, but I think overall, I'm more happy with the way the way we conducted ourselves. Um, I just think the fitness of the lads, we, we really look a fit side, and I think that last 20 minutes of the second half showed a bit. So now you turn your attention to Saturday in the FA Cup. Was the the game on Saturday an influence on your lineup tonight? Um, no, because we were playing lower break. Um, Obviously, teams for different games, isn't it? Um, look, we're not happy that we've got to play Thursday, Saturday. I don't think it's. A, I think it's an advantage to which on Saturday. They're going to get. They're going to get a Vauxhall team who played thirty-six hours before or forty hours before. Um, but with the squad that we brought in and the players we've got available come the weekend, you know, I'm, I'm happy and I think we can go there and get at least get them back to our place. Uh, well, regardless, manager in the FA Cup, playing in the FA Cup, it's going to be a good occasion. Yeah, it, it, I mean, I, I love playing. In it when I was when I was playing and managing, I've done well at other clubs. I haven't done well so much here, and um, we've never been past this first stage. So hopefully we can get that monkey off our back and have a good win. All right, Mick. Thanks for joining yeah, us.